Okay, folks. Uh, this lesson uh, again, uh, it's sort of half grammar and and half very very practical as well. Um, this lesson is on how we say you want you want something in Irish, or you maybe need something. Um, uh, so wanting and needing, and how we get that across. And I'm going to look at uh, probably three or four different ways in which we do that. There's seven seven sl slides in total. In terms of level of Irish, the first two slides, I would say that basic learners should look at those. Um, uh, the first two or three slides, say. After that, it sort of moves into a wee bit more medium level, okay? And you might require a wee bit more uh, understanding of other uh, things uh, to operate uh, the ways of saying want or need that are expressed there. But uh, we'll start off, uh, and you can go as far as you want into it anyway. And even the more slightly more medium level ones, Basic learners should be able to follow what I'm saying, uh, even if some of it might be just a wee bit too much at this particular point. Okay, <clears throat> so, um, wanting this is the first one. Very, very casually, especially, uh, and this is used uh, in different dialects, very strong in the Ulster dialect, but it is used in other dialects as well. And whenever I say casual, you would use this with friends, uh, with people you're very familiar with, uh, with children uh, and that although it is creeping into more and more <coughs> widespread use as well not just for very casual you'll find it in use in widespread uh, use of areas as well but just if you wanted to sort of think of it more as a casual way of saying wanting or needing right so we'll take a look at the first one sorry I have stuff on the floor here huh? okay right um so a giddy, a giddy, a giddy. That means wanting or looking for, okay? Um, wanting or looking for, okay? So in Irish we can say, um, so egg, yeri, egg, yeri, okay? But said uh, quick, a giddy, looking for or wanting, okay? So on wall two, are you, and you go back to some of the uh, earlier lessons on the verb to be, well, to are you a giddy? Are you wanting? Are you wanting? Well, to a giddy, uh, and that's how you would say, are you wanting? But I suppose in English it would come out as, do you want? Okay? Um, and that could be used then for anything at all, right? I'll get back, I'll get up to this a wee bit, a bit later. Um, so, for example, are you wanting a cup and coffee down here? Well, to get a cup and coffee, uh, do you want a cup of coffee? And you would say that to a friend or somebody visiting the house or to your partner or to somebody uh, in the house. Well, to get a cup of coffee, are you looking for a, a cup of coffee? Da, can't you? Bit of volume. Um, cup of coffee, I would love a cup of coffee. Um, so you can use that for, uh, say, do you want more toast? Tell you is like more. You can't say ni smo, but tell you. Uh, uh, is one way of saying more. In Ulster Irish, they might say chill you. They might make that a slender T. Chill you. But uh, tell you uh, is more. So, what to get it, uh, tell you toast. Are you looking for more toast? Do you want more toast? Very, very simple way of saying it. And responding to that, will to, you just say ta if you do and kneel if you don't, okay? Uh, and if you really, really do, you right? So, oh, tech, can't you? Oh, I surely. Uh, batter on, get the toaster going there. So, tell you toast, uh, more toast. So, you can use that. Well, to a giddy, do you want? Uh, for things. Cup and coffee. Tell you toast. Uh, uh, Fija punt. 20 pounds. Whatever it is, you can use it for things. You're asking me, do you want certain things? But you can also use it. If you use the verbal noun, and I did a whole section on the verbal noun, if you don't know what it is, then you can go back and look at that uh, those those lessons. Uh, but you can use the, the verbal noun part of a verb to add to this as well, so you get sort of actions coming on. So, well, to get it, dull oella. Dull is the verbal noun meaning uh, to go, to go from the verb che, which is go. But this is the verbal noun of it. So, well, to get it, dull oella. Are you uh, are you wanting to go home? In other words, do you want to go home? Okay, uh, and then obviously remember we uh, if you go back to, if you look at the verbal noun lessons I do as well, fi is the verb get, 
the verbal noun of it is file. But if you have an object, what's it say like ticket? So in this case, uh, well to get a ticket a aisle. Uh, are you wanting or do you want a ticket to get? Do you want to get a ticket? Uh, are you looking for a ticket? So you can use this for look, looking for something as well in terms of do you want something? Uh, I don't know about other dialects of English out there, but we would very commonly hear say, are you looking for are you looking for a ticket are you? Are you looking for a cup of coffee? You could sort of use that looking for in the sense of want. So that would cover that type of meaning as well. Well, to get a ticket that aisle, are you looking to get a ticket? Uh, do you want to get a ticket? Okay, so that's a very very simple way of the first casual way of saying do you want? If you want to make a statement yourself uh, Say nobody has asked you did you want a cup of coffee, but you just want to say yourself um, You could say can we get a cup of coffee? I'm looking for a cup of coffee. I want a cup of coffee uh, Can we get a uh, can we get a tell you toaster? I'm looking for more toast. Uh, uh, I want more toast. Okay uh, Tamagiri Dolawala, um, uh, I want to go home. I want uh, Tamagiri, I want Dolawala to go home. Use the verbal noun with that. Tamagiri ticket the aisle. Um, I want to get a ticket uh, for for the concert or whatever it might be. Okay, so you just make your statements there. Obviously, your negative then, if you go back again, look at the other, the, the negative of the verb, uh, the verb to be is Neil. Neil may get a cup of coffee. I'm not look. Uh, I'm not. I don't want. So if you if tame agiri means I want, to get the negative, you just change the ta to nil. Okay, uh, and I say that's dealt with in another lesson. But for now, you just say nil me agiri, nil me agiri cup and cafe. I don't want a cup of coffee. Nil me agiri tell you toaster. I don't want more toast. Nil me agiri dollawala. I don't want to go home. Uh, I want another pint. Uh, and you may get a ticket that I'll, I, I, I don't want to take I don't want to get a ticket. Okay um, Right, okay, so oh Sorry, there it is there. I had it on there. Sorry about that. So you may get I, I, I don't want okay I am not looking for I am not wanting something very casual. Okay The one I didn't cover here is Kajé tattoo a yeri. So Kajé means what a tattoo what are you and then a yeri uh what are you looking for what are you wanting in other words and that comes out as what do you want could you talk to yeri what do you want now you would think possibly i'm not going into the reasons why a yeri means wanting why do you not have a g in here well basically this is a verbal noun uh uh, and again, you'll go back to the, the verbal noun thing. So, agiri means wanting, technically speaking, right? But after you say kajé a, and whenever you have that we a there, that was actually probably will be separate, but it's, it's built into the the word ta here in this case. Whenever you have that we relative a, you actually, and this here, agiri, what is it that you are wanting? Whenever this refers back to that, the g is dropped. You don't need to know why, just accept it. And um, you would cause an aspiration there. So for now, just don't say kajé tatu agiri. Just leave it without the G, even though it means the same thing. Kajé tatu agiri, okay? Kajé tatu agiri, okay? There is a grammatical reason for it, but it's not really too important. So you want to say to somebody you're, you're very familiar with, hey, kajé tatu agiri, what are you looking for? What do you want, okay? Uh, so that's just casual. So that's one way of saying want, and it's very, very casual, and it's the use of the word Yeti, okay? Uh, let's go to the next stage. This is, people use this a lot here. Uh, it's probably slightly less, I'm just saying slightly less casual because it is getting used now a lot among friends and all, uh, and stuff like that. But the, uh, and a giddy is moving out as well beyond as casual things. But if you, this is, I'm not saying it's highly formalized, but it's a wee bit more polite, I suppose. Um, uh, let's say, for example, so I want, uh, we'll, we'll start here, right? Oh, well, sorry, we'll go to the question. Would you like? So it's a wee bit different. You can see that. It, that would you like, obviously in English, that could also mean do you want? Do you want? But I've put in do you like here or would you like here because it has that wee slightly more polite formalised uh, ring to it. And that's what it's like. Would it be good with you? Uh, so er wahlat, 
Uh, not to be mixed up with an maithliat, which means do you like, which is completely different. Er waithliat, would you like. Er waithliat, so you could say, I'm well to a giddy cup of tea, I'm well to a giddy cup of coffee. Are you looking for a cup of coffee? Do you want a cup of coffee? Or you could say slightly more polite, er waithliat, er waithliat cup of coffee, okay? Uh, and again, er waithliat, tell you toaster, would you like more toast? Do you want more toast? Okay, and again, for basic learners of Irish, this would be very good to know this. Uh, if somebody asks you the question, er waithliat cup and coffee, and you do want a cup, right? Your response is just, ba why? You no call for the yum or nothing. Ba why? Er waithliat cup and coffee? Ba why? Er waithliat cup and coffee? If you didn't want it, then you would just say, near why? Okay, um, whenever you're responding, just responding to a question, there's no need for this because you're just giving a yes or no. So, a white light cup and cafe, but why? A white light cup and cafe, near way. Okay, so that's the easy way of saying, do you want something or would you like something? Uh, and then, obviously, your negative and positive answer. Again, you can use this, a white light, you can use the verbal nouns. A white light, dollar while. Would you like to go home? Do you want to go home? Right? Er wife ya ticket the aisle. Would you like to get a ticket? Uh do you want to get a ticket? Okay, for an event. So uh and again by way or near way. If you yourself were just making statements that you would like something or you wanted something using this structure, then you would go you would say Bawahyum, it would be good with me, and then you would sort of say and that means I want or I would like and then you can just say, but why do you cup and cafe? I want a cup of coffee. I would like a cup of coffee. But why do you tell you toaster? I would like more toast. Okay. But why do you I would like to go home. But why do you ticket the aisle? I would like to get a ticket. Okay. Near why do um, The negative of that is near why do cup and cafe? I don't want a cup of coffee. I wouldn't like a cup of coffee if you're making a full statement. Okay. Uh, and your wife don't tell you toaster. I, I don't want uh, more toast. I'm happy enough with what I have. And your wife don't dull a while. Go for it. I, I, I don't want to go home yet. Uh, okay. So that's the use of bawai. And kajé <clears throat> bawai is what would you like? So again, kajé just means what. And then bawai uh, would you like? Uh, although we know here that would you like is air white yat if it's on its own. But whenever, you're, whenever you have kajé in front of that there, you don't use the air. You just use the ba, the normal. So it's really, what is it that would be good that, that would be good with you, okay? So you don't use air there. You just say kajé ba white yat. Uh, but without the kajé, you go straight into the air white yat. Kajé ba white yat, what would you like? Uh, so if you're asking people, you know, but tea no coffee, what would you like? Tea or coffee, okay? Uh, and then you could come in and say, but why you tea? You would need the full sentence that time as you're actually saying tea and all after it, right? So that's basically another, it's a slightly less uh, casual way, but it is very, very, very common, even among friends, to be honest, right? And I just want to show you the full workings of that, okay? And this is taking it a slightly wee bit further with some of the things, right? Um, so if you're dealing with different people, so I, um, I would like or I want, right? Okay. We already seen that on the previous one. But why yum, cup and tea? I'll just put cup and tea and with uh, most of them do we see, right? But why yum, cup and tea? I would like a cup of tea. You'll see that I have an S uh, in here in red, right? This is something that you can add and should add when you are emphasizing the person. So let's say, for example, and, and, in, and in English, you see what we do is we, we change our uh, tone of voice. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, if I'm just saying straight out, I would like a cup of tea. See the way there's no emphasis whatsoever on the word I there. It's just, I would like a cup of tea. But while you cup of tea, I would like a cup of tea. But if I wanted to say, no in English, if I was saying, I would like a cup of tea. See the way, if I emphasize in English, I put more emphasis on the word I. I don't know about the rest of these boys, but I want a cup of tea. So if you're going to emphasize yourself, 
and single yourself out and put a bit more emphasis on it, then you can't you can't just say the yum stronger. You can't go, but I yum cup and tea. You cannot do that in Irish. In that case where you uh, you extend that emphasis in English, you must actually have a wee slightly stronger word in Irish. So, but I yum cup and tea. I would like a cup of tea. But I yum a cup and tea. I would like a cup of tea. See the difference? And each of these has its own wee emphatic form and you should learn them and they should become a natural part of your Irish, okay? So I'm just going to go down them here, uh, uh, okay? These are known as prepositions, per, uh, prepositional pronouns, okay? Uh, but uh, well, I'll do a section on those. But for now, you're actually saying, I, it would be good with me a cup of tea. It would be good with me a cup of tea. In other words, I would like. Second one. Uh, boy, that cup and tea, you would like a cup of tea. No emphasis on the you. Boy, that cup and tea, you would like a cup of tea. Boy, that's a cup and tea, you would like a cup of tea, right? Normally, that that's it would be used um, in a question. Say you ask one person, say there was two people in your company, and you says, er, why that cup and tea to the first person? And the first person says, near why, they don't. Then you turn around now and you're, you've said, well, I've dealt with this person. You turn around now in Irish, you go to the next person. Then you can't, in, in English, you would say, would you like a cup of tea? Because you're, as opposed to the last person who turned it down, you would need this more stronger you. So in Irish, you would say, oh, well, that's a cup of tea. So we'll use that sa. So whenever you're using a stronger you, you'll use that sa or a stronger I. Um, so, but well, that's a cup of tea, you would like a cup of tea, right? It's just sa. Right at the end, don't make it like a big sa, right? Boy yumps, boy yats, so it's like a, it's almost like a dead vowel, s. Okay, uh, same, he, uh, he would like a cup of tea, boy lesh, so you only have the lesh there, boy lesh cup and tea. It would be good with him, boy lesh cup and tea. He would like a cup of tea, but, right? He would like a cup of tea, emphasizing that person, boy lesh and cup and tea. Boy, lesion cup and tea. So that's an emphatic form. Uh, and then your normal for this one is yehi. It's pronounced yehi, right? Further down south, they might say yehi. But up in Ulster, we say yehi, right? So L E fada I. Boy, yehi cup and tea. She wants a cup of tea. She would like a cup of tea. Uh, if you're emphasizing it, well, not, how long am I now? She wants a cup of tea. Um, boy, yehi she. So you say yehi, and then you add. Sh, it's a because that's a slender s. It's followed by an a or an e. That s will get a sh sound rather than a s sound. So, boy lehisha, boy lehisha cup on tea. She would she would like a cup of tea. Uh, and then if you want to say we want a cup of uh, we want tea or uh, we want coffee, and there's no emphasis on the we. We're just saying we want coffee. Boy and coffee, boy and coffee. Okay, but if you want to say we want coffee. No, I don't know about them boys over there, but we want coffee. But why linya coffee? But why linya? So that there, the wee uh, uh, linya, right? And it sounds like a y-e almost at the end, but why linya coffee, right? And it's good to learn these emphatic forms because it allows you to emphasize uh, like that. But why love cup and, uh, but why love coffee? You would like coffee. Uh, but why love coffee? Uh, Tommy and Janu. You would like coffee, I reckon. Uh, right, we just right. Uh, boy, love, boy, love coffee. Um, Tommy Kincha. Uh, you you want coffee, I'm sure. Right, okay. But if you want to say, you would like coffee. Boy, love she. Boy, love she coffee. Okay, love she. So, she, in that case, and same as this here, right? Uh, if you're uh, first of all, if you're just saying they would like coffee, boy, your coffee, just the normal they. But while your coffee, they would like coffee. Your right, that's it. Will be good with them. It will be good with you. It will be good with us. It will be good with her. So your is with them. But while your coffee, they would like uh, coffee. Uh, but uh, if you were emphasizing the they, or they would like coffee, regardless of what the rest is. Uh, but why yosin? But why yosin? So that gets a sun at the end of it. But why yos and cafe? And again, most of the emphasis goes in the first half of the word. These are just dragged, uh, stuck on. Okay. Now, if you want to say the man or the man would like, 
or the man wants okay um you have to have well on fire is the man but what happens here is um if you add the word the okay which is on then you actually use this one here this third one here you, uh, you use lesh on so it would be good with the man with the man um cup and coffee but why lesh and yar now that lesh on i'm not going to go into this particular point in a minute puts a hitch on the far and it becomes lesh and yar that's a separate rule and it's ones require a wee bit more work but but why lesh and yar um the man would like uh cup on coffee the man would like a cup on coffee boy le chignar cup on coffee the man would like a cup of coffee and then if instead of on far right if you were saying the men na first na first so in that case you would say but why le na first so the on would change to na in the plural the plural of uh, uh, the is na so but why le na first the men would like but why le na first cup on coffee the men would like a cup of coffee so that takes you right down all using that structure somebody wants with these wee prepositional pronouns it's really like uh le has the word for with and then if you add le and me with me it actually comes out as yum right if you have le and to with you you can't say that in Irish you join them together and becomes yat le and a with him becomes lesh okay with him ye and e becomes yehi okay and le and shin which is us um becomes yin okay and ye and shiv with yous becomes yiv okay that's uh, and then le and yid which is they so with them uh, becomes your uh, sometimes you'll hear this your said as yoffa up in ulster irish yoffa you'll have an eight f i on it you don't have to learn that just to be here you know it's just the same as your yoffa right and then they'll say yoffason right okay so and then if you add the word the it doesn't matter if it's na or on if it's the singular the or the plural the you will actually use lesh along with it lesh on yar with the man lesh na first with the man okay i'm going to leave that there and i'll do a second lesson on the next slides which is we but slightly more complicated so anybody who wants to say the first steps and just saying that you want something in irish those three slides uh have it covered so first of all we had um a giri kit uh am what you a giri are you looking for something could you tattoo a giri what do you want tell me a giri i am looking for or i want something and then you just say what you want okay and then second one then was slightly more polite uh was could you buy a yacht uh what would you like a white yacht would you like and then but white yum i want or i would like uh near white yum i don't want uh and i wouldn't like and then we rather than just for yum and yacht i give you then the full for every single personal pronoun and then for if you're adding the, the noun and remember you can actually turn these ones into a question so but what uh but why that means you would like but if you change that ba to an air air why that it changes it to a question would you like air why that but why lesh but why lesh he would like but if you change it to air why lesh it would become would he like uh but why yin we would like if you change that to er why yin it means would we like okay and equally if you change the ba to a near n i f a r o r near you'll get all the negatives so you can say near why yum i don't want i wouldn't like near why yat you wouldn't like near why lesh he wouldn't like near why yehi she wouldn't like near why yin we wouldn't like near white love you wouldn't like and near white your they wouldn't like okay so that's your wee lesson on the first two ways you would say um i want uh, or somebody wants something in irish and we'll look at a few more in part 2 of this uh, wee series okay myself